Hi everyone, not posted a video um, in a couple of months I think. Uh, been a little bit uh, busy with a few problems. Um, okay, Bedini Turbo Boost Stage 2 proof. Um, it's been on the teak forums for a while. Um, both Stage 1 and Stage 2. Um, so let's take a look. Before I start, right, some of you will cheer for joy, because I think you can tell already. Um, it's a bit brighter in here, don't you think? Hmm. I wonder why. It's because... There you go. That uh, went uh, last week. Um, dead. Um, so I'm saving it because I'm going to uh, whiz the circuit out of it. So I'll have another one. Um, I was surprised to see there's only a 60 watt equivalent energy saving bulb. So and I've got 100 watt in the main light, he says, with a great big blob in the middle of his eyesight now. Um, so it's a bit brighter in here, and I think you guys will be cheering. Right, so anyway, back to the um, um, turbo boost. Right, you can hear it running in the background, you got it. Let's take a look. Okay, everyone will recognise that, twin coils. Uh, mess of a circuit. Rennie looking at the backboard there with the two transistors on. Right. The rest of this lot here and there we can ignore because we're not using that. Okay, pair of high voltage capacitors. These black, bright blue LEDs that you can see, they're just keeping the voltage down in those capacitors because the transistors don't like high voltage. Right, so that's what we're drawing in milliamps. 74 milliamps. Right, that's without the turbo coil. Right, so, don't have an RPM monitor at the moment, so how am I going to tell if the turbo coil is working? Okay, that'll be simple. The current consumption is going to go up, and you will also be able to hear it as well. Right, so I'm going to plug it in, and you can see for yourselves. Right, you'll also be able to tell that it's using power from the uh, high voltage capacitors because the LEDs will go out because the voltage will drop. Right, so let's go for it. Aren't we listening? Make sure I plug this in correctly, otherwise it'll be a nice blue spark. That got it? Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. It's not supposed to do that. 16 volts? That's a bit high. Something's not right. Hang on. So the voltage is coming down, so it's using power. Well, not a lot, for some reason. Hmm. It's pulsing. Have I? Yes, thought I had. Don't nudge the cable. Pulled it out. There we go. You can hear a change and you can see the current consumption is coming up. Of course, you can see the LEDs have gone out. Okay. 
Now, just pointing something out to people here. Pair of LEDs that I've got on top. This coil, like you've seen it before, um, originally inspired by Fusion Chip. Twat. Um, and I use that. Those two diodes, uh, LEDs rather, are in opposite directions. So you can see here, both of them have lit up, which means there's current flowing in both directions on here. So I use that little thing for diagnostics, so I can work out what's going on with the coil, and make sure that the field is expanding and collapsing correctly. Right. That one's the turbo coil, that one's the drive coil. I can swap them round, but, well, to be honest, I can't be asked at the moment. Right, now, for those of you that were wondering, this is just a hollow core. Right, there's a 10 mil gap between the outside of the core right, and the coils. Right, and that is important. Right, I'll explain why later. Right, but, some of you on the TEAP forums know that uh, I put up a post basically saying that shouldn't work, oh my god. Something along those lines anyway. Well, I kind of pulled this off like that and dropped it. And as I dropped it, this happened. Yes, the LEDs lit up. Right about me, but that brightly I think. I just touched it but never mind. And I went, hmm, it's not supposed to do that. I said, hmm. And that then got me thinking. So, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking, it should be obvious. Um, so that's about it. You can hear that the turbo works, you can see the turbo work. Um, what can I say? You've reused power to make it go faster and therefore more efficient. Is that a better way of doing it? Good question. Um, you should be able to do it on a Newman as well. Um, so those of you with twin coil Newmans, uh, try it. Uh, even the Bedini Turbo Stage 1 should work with a Newman, but it depends on how you've got the Newman set up, I think. Um, other than that, um, have fun. Uh, and now that I've proved this, I can start working on Stage 3. And you've already seen part of Stage 3. But I didn't tell you that. So, any questions, comments, um, feel free to make them. Um, all the info is on Teep Forums. Um, so, see you out there.